god, look at the size of that thing. Maybe I can sneak past it. I gotta get the hell out of here. This place was supposed to be fucking stable. Looks like someone's enjoying the show.
Someone's been watching. Lily. Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I... Shut up! <clears throat> Don't say a word! You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? Turn around. Do it slow. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? Lack of micro-expressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have, but the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on, but this place is still falling apart, and I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union, and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair a communicator so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah. Maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. If Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent, aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. 
The fact that this one was able to fool us? He's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively, so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. That could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory.
Don't worry, detective. This won't hurt a bit. You seem more at ease, Detective. You've found a possible ally in this dangerous world. Not sure about that. I never know who to trust in here. Present company included. A shame. After all we've been through together. Isolation and distrust aren't symptoms of mental illness. But they are... unfortunate byproducts of it. Closing yourself off from others does nothing but agitate your condition. You are human. You require connection the way a plant requires light. The only connection I require right now is to your machine. I've still got a long road ahead of me. Don't you think it's time that you moved on to the task at hand? How am I ever going to get these nails right if you keep interrupting my manicure? It's me, Kidman. Good to know you're still there, Sebastian. After Beacon, I tried to make some sense of what happened to me. But everyone said I was delusional. Or hiding the truth. I started to believe that maybe they were right. That maybe I was crazy. I felt so frustrated. Useless. Drinking was the only thing that killed the pain. So much time wasted. I could have tried harder. Shit. Don't beat yourself up, Sebastian. When Mobius doesn't want to be found... Don't make excuses for me, Kidman. I fucked up. Look, Sebastian, this isn't the time to dwell on the past. This is the time to make up for it. Self-pity is what led you to drink in the first place. You have a chance to get back what you lost. Don't lose sight of that. Harsh. But true. You're right, Kidman. Thanks. Hey, Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. You mean back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. That was all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't on to us. Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. <laughs> 